Hi, I'm Lara, and this is Trope Train Trilogy, and today I'll be doing the Books Giving Tag. I was tagged by the wonderful Anne from Book Your Imagination, who I will link down below. The original tag was by Sophie from Sophie's Series, who I also link down below. So the point of this tag is you're having a big Thanksgiving dinner with all your favorite book characters, or least favorite, and this tag is to help you figure out who would be doing what at this wonderful Thanksgiving meal. So let's try to do this quick because I have no time. Number one, the Wrangler and Savior. What character would be most likely to chase after a turkey, and what character would be most likely to save it? So character most likely to chase after the turkey would be Make a Half Wolf, from Monstrous, right there. And the character who would be trying to save the poor turkey would be Kippa, who is Meka's little child fox friend slash sidekick. Now, I'm not sure if Meka would be the one I would actually want to send to get the turkey. Like, she might end up eating the turkey and just coming back with a skeleton, which is gross, but she she's not the nicest person, and she's got demonic issues she would definitely be the one going out at night and hunting down turkeys and she would be the one who tries to stop her and then is traumatized when she can't that's a happy start to this meal number two the drama king slash queen what book character would most likely start an argument at the table that would be helene Aquila from an ember in the ashes and the reason i pick helene is because all throughout this first book, she's creating petty drama when they have much more important things to worry about. So I can always count on Helene to start drama when it's not a good time, such as at a holiday dinner. Number three, the space cadet. What character would accidentally set the oven on fire? I have no idea what space cadet has to do with any of this situation, but my answer to that is Leo Valdez from the Heroes of Olympus. You can see him right there. He's in the front. Leo has fire powers, and he doesn't have perfect control over them. So he actually has problems within this story of accidentally burning things. So it would be very consistent and in character for him to continue accidentally burning things. Poor Leo, he can never have an easy life. Number four, which character would probably be a loner on Thanksgiving? Because let's be honest, no one wants him there. So that character would be the AI Aiden from Illuminae. Now, Aiden wants what's best, and he wants to do what's best for everyone. However, his method of doing what's best tends to be very bad and destructive. So even if he goes to Thanksgiving hoping to make it the best Thanksgiving dinner possible, he'd probably be doing something really terrible, and everyone, half the people would end up dead, and... Yeah, so they probably wouldn't want to invite him because even when he's trying to do good, he tends to not do good because he's AI and interpret things very different than humans. Number five, the perfectionist. What character would be too preoccupied making sure that everything at the event is absolutely perfect? Now that character would be Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. I picked the third one because her face is on the cover. So Hermione's always been a perfectionist to the point where sometimes it gets annoying. So I feel like she would continue to be the perfectionist even though she's British and wouldn't be celebrating Thanksgiving, but none of these characters would actually be celebrating Thanksgiving except maybe Leo, because he does live in modern day America. But yeah, so I could imagine Hermione would be panicking the whole time and being a perfectionist the entire event instead of actually enjoying the dinner. Number six. The embarrassment. Which fictional character has a little too much to drink, aka a lot to drink, of holiday spiced apple cocktail? This character is pretty obvious. Hamish Abernathy from, oh wow that's shiny, Hamish Abernathy from The Hunger Games. He's an alcoholic so it makes sense he would be the one to drink too much. Number seven, what book are you least thankful for this year? So for that I'm picking The Forest of Hands and Teeth. This book. Now, there have been a couple other books I've tried to read this year and didn't finish, but I'm not counting them because I didn't finish them. This one I actually did finish and I did not like it. It was very boring and I didn't care about a single character. It was slow and I was apathetic to the entire thing. 
but I did finish it, so... Will number eight, what book are you most thankful for? Now, this one did not say this year, so I'm not picking one I read this year, especially since they were both used in character examples before. So the one I'm picking for this is Warriors Into the Wild. Now, this book I am most thankful for because this is the book that got me into reading and also got me so into reading that I wanted to write my own stories too. So, it seems like a pretty obvious pick. This book is the one that started it all. And finally, number nine. Name one random thing you're thankful for. Now, I don't really think this is particularly random, but I'm thankful for my family and my friends. Most of my family. Screw my friends. No, I'm just kidding. I'm thankful for my family. So, I'm filming this very last minute. It's going up on Thanksgiving. And hopefully, I'll get this up before I go to my family dinner where I get to see my family that I'm oh so thankful for. So, yeah. That's all I have to say for now. I'm not tagging anyone because it's Thanksgiving. No one has time to make this. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you later.